Extra, extra, read all about it. Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an energy reading with oracle cards. It is not a horoscope. So this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury, Uranus, wherever Gemini energy influences your natal chart or influences your life. So it could be your partner's energy. This are, these are the themes and energies that you'll be dealing with for the next week or so. Now, there's no date on this video, um, but I do make a new Gemini video every single week. So if you love it, please like this video, share it on different profiles, get the word around, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can help the channel grow and you'll get all the uploads. As long as you ring that bell, you'll get notifications as soon as I upload all the new content. So there's always an extended reading. We start here uh, with the energies and general energies. Um, and then I will uh, articulate and expand upon, uh, get some specifics, more details, and a more personalized reading with a full tarot card spread in the extended. And the link to that video is below. And of course, that includes your romance reading as well for the week. Gemini, let's get right in to your energy. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go. You don't have enough feelings for somebody. There's something here that's dulled or dimmed. Three plus six uh, is nine. The energy of completion or done. Something coming to an end. Um, there's a passion that is drained, a draining, a drainage, a lacking of passion for someone or something. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship, but this is the emotions are gone. Maybe it's because you block the emotions away or because you don't want the emotions or you've decided to move on with your life or your emotions are being, you know, or your, your focus is somewhere else. Whatever this is, there's a lack of excitement and enthusiasm, a dwindling um, love is all around. Nightingale energy, four plus one. Yes, there's an energy of, oh, wow. Piscean energy and Gemini energy. Now I understand. Uh, there's a dwindling interest in spreading the love all around. There's a dwindling interest in being a generalist. There's a dwindling interest in, um, you know, uh, I don't know, like, like, like a love in every port. There's, there's a dwindling interest in shopping around, dating around, interviewing for jobs. It's not exciting anymore. There's a sense of really being done and finished with the generalization, the, the, the generalization or, or not knowing where you stand. This could be, be for a specific circumstance as well. This could be, you know, tired of not knowing where you stand in a relationship, tired of, you know, tired of, of they love everybody and they treat everybody nice. But what about me? Do, am I special? How do I stand out? Like, where's, where's me being defined in all of this? Why, like, why don't I stand out or why, like, I'm, I'm tired of being one of the crowd. Um, and Gemini, you do always stand out, but at the same time, it's like the sense of, well, who is taking me seriously? And are the people that are taking me seriously, the people that I want to be taken seriously by, or are they the ones that just, it's easy for me to get their attention. I don't want a basic person. I don't want somebody that's easy to grab attention from. I want somebody who's challenging. I want somebody who's, who's interesting, who's sophisticated. There's a lack of intrigue here, a lack of, um, interest. That's the energy that's crowning your reading. Yeah. Make your dreams real. This is awakening to sort of walking in a spider web and feeling like, um, you're going to get stuck or you're going to be sucked in. You can be dealing with a, a Scorpio. You could be a sick of not knowing where you stand, a sense of things being too cryptic or things being too uh, like subliminal, not being straightforward enough, uh, a constant g game or web, a constant maze of where do I step? If I put my foot here, um, you know, am I going to, am I going to, you know, I'm going to shake the house down this sense of maybe too, too, 
too much feeling, too much love is draining you, or lack of emotion is what's, or no, 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 it's not too much. It's lack of emotion, a lack of getting a response from somebody. Something is really agitating you and irritating you. Sing your own song. This is usually the energy of freedom, but it's turned upside down. You feel stuck and trapped in a web of deceit and lies. Not necessarily deceit and lies. It's a web of, of, of ambiguity. It's a web of, well, can you tell me how you feel for once and for all? It's just a web of, and you got me stuck here. You got me all twisted up and twirled around your fingers, but what are you doing with me? Why aren't you, like, you're sick of walking on eggshells. That's what this sense is. A sense of just feeling sucked in and trapped by um, uh, an obligation, maybe um, um, a person, a partnership that is draining every single last ounce of you and taking away, wasting your time, embrace the in-between is also in reverse. Six plus two is the energy of eight. So something is shining a light. Divine intervention is making you realize this is just not working out. There's no equal. There's no give and take. This is Libra energy, which is the energy of partnership, of being economic, of finding balance, but this is being off balance and wasting time and being fastidious, um, fastidious, you know, like, like picking at too many things or, or the little particulars being too freaking important to somebody and then not them like, like them not able to just let things be and, and, and enjoy this, this moment, a sense of constant nitpicking or, or worrying, um, a constant, I, I need to know everything that you're doing. And at the same time, it's like, okay, but so what do you want from me? And then there's no answer. Like they completely shut down. Yeah. There's, there's no balance here. Everything seems to be really thrown out of whack. Um, believe, be playful is also coming out kind of crooked and on its side energy of five plus one. This is an energy of love gone wrong. Um, yeah, six is, six is love or partnership or together and things are just heavy. You feel like you're being drowned. You're being like, you're being held under and you should be able to come up for air, but it's not, it's not letting you up a sense of this is your central energy, a sense of being, um, not just deflated, but oppressed. Yeah. Oh, Gemini, I'm so sorry for this energy. I'm so sorry for this energy of um, whoever this is that you're dealing with. Somebody, there's really, in, they're really insecure. This is a person who just cannot tell you their feelings, doesn't want to show you their feelings. And it's, it's almost like they're making it your issue or your problem or starting to become your problem. Believe in yourself. Energy is also upside down. This is, you don't want to plant the seeds here. You want to up and run. You want to take these things. You want to store them away. It's a, or it's like somebody's trying to collect you. Somebody's trying to like uh, make you their stash or they're, they're hoarding. They're holding on too tight. They're worried too much. There's too much, you know, uh, doom and gloom or doomsday kind of BS. There's a sense of, I can't be here for long. I don't want this to go on for long term. Um, really being sick and tired of everybody being sick and tired of everybody worrying so much or, you know, being driven so crazy with paranoia. And yet at the same time, it's like they won't listen to reason. They're incapable of having to in intellectual conversation or even telling you how they feel or being able to articulate anything to you at all because this is Virgo energy which is also ruled by your ruling planet Mercury it's like this is like being in retrograde all communications are discombobulated things are coming out wrong or they're they're not being communicated at all communication isn't getting through at all um um, which could be really bothering you a great deal, especially since if, if you've been waiting for an opportunity or wanting to hear communications come through and you're just not hearing anything at all. Um, yeah, you want to like hightail it out of there. You know, this is this is like a tuck and run situation. Just, just get yourself out of there. But in a way, you're kind of stuck for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, there could be some sort of obligation here. Okay, there's lots of energy coming. As soon as as soon as I heard I don't know why, as soon as I said I don't know why, a bunch of other cards fell out. So hold on. We're going to find out why. Trust in the great mystery, awakening to the depths, awakening to the understanding of what's really making people tick, maybe even being the one to confront them about it or being ready, being unafraid to dive in, but being all alone in that process of just wanting to hold your breath and get lost and, and 
and dive under people if you have to, just to get away from it all. Um, um, and watch and wait, energy of five plus three, also eight, this sense in you awakening to an understanding or a sensitivity deep inside of yourself, a knowing that is more psychic than it is anything else. Um, really having to navigate with your psyche as opposed to your, um, you know, your normal charm or your normal communications. But this is being very steady. This could also be an, a father energy taking care of the children, um, diving into responsibilities that you didn't have before, maybe even feeling stuck in responsibilities that are too heavy or too deep for you. But this is a sense of really wanting to step up to plate um, and to take care of something that you see needs a lot of healing. Um, but simultaneously, you may have gotten in over your head because there is a sense of impatience here, impracticality in the decision to, um, to dis like, um, like impracticality in the decision to decide to wait. But then we moved on, right, to 7 plus 4 is also an energy of 11, awakening to what's really going on and seeing the truth, the impossible happening. Um, what is the impossible happening? Use your mind wisely. Um, I, I want to say that you see something or notice something that other people don't, Gemini. Dream the world into being 8, also 11, 11, 11, 11. Wow, there's a lot of awakenings here. An energy of awakening to what's to to um oh, wow coming to life in a different way almost like a whole new world Holy, let's keep going um sometimes life stings this is a conclusion uh, something that's bothering you is coming to an end um this is also scorpionic energy You're, it's honestly like you're catching wind to some sort of manipulation or something that was undercover or covert that was going on to keep you to keep you and your energies working to somebody else's um, 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 for somebody else's no 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 want like it, 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 oh, this is really frustrating energy dream the world into being. It's almost like you're seeing something that other people aren't seeing. I've said that before. I know. This is a sense of really being held back. Of being able to see very, very clearly a circumstance or a situation. But have that that message or that understanding be like shat upon. And like pushed down, even oppressed because of all the bickering and bitterness and hysteria. A sense of... of, of of almost people wanting to be scared instead of think and use their minds, like a sense of somebody like siding with paranoia or haunting, like being haunted instead of opening their eyes and seeing what's really going on in front of them. A sense of wanting to be bogged down, being around or in the presence of somebody who, um, doesn't want to listen, doesn't want to hear, um, or, or, or doesn't want to, um, really just wants to succumb to, uh, sensationalism, uh, fear, whatever it is that's, that's, and it's, that's bugging them, whatever it is, like believing what they hear and being afraid of a poison, like being, being, being afraid of a gun without listening to the fact that the gun isn't even loaded. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like that. It's like be like like if you would yell at this person, the gun isn't loaded. Why are you letting it why are you let, why are you letting it hold you in fear? And the person is just like it's still a gun. It's still a gun. Don't don't tell me that it's not a gun. It's still dangerous. It's still dangerous. It's scary. How is it scary if it can't do anything to you? there's bullets in there. How do you know? I know that there's not, there's no bullets in there. You can tell that it's not even cocked. 
they're, they're even holding it wrong. Why, why are, but they're not listening to reason. They're just like, it's still a gun. And you're so irresponsible for even thinking that I, I shouldn't be scared of this. You shouldn't be scared of it. It, 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 it it's bull. But no, but, but they don't want to listen. That is just a, a metaphor, of course, but that's kind of what the insanity, it almost like the insanity you're lost in or that you're up against. Um, and I think part of you does want to fight it. Absolutely. That you also, a part of you wants to see how it plays out. That's that part of you that likes to be a little um, devilly and, uh, and, and, and tempt or go too far with those things or, or yeah, like, like be too fascinated with things that are a little bit dark, but like just it fascinates you. But simultaneously, this could also really get to you. Be at home. It seems like everybody wants to be at home. Everybody's scared to go out or be anywhere. I mean, I know that what time we're in, I understand, but there's a sense of, um, this might be coming from closer to home than you would like almost getting to know somebody or a side of somebody that you thought you knew and now you don't really know them. You never really knew them until they got into this uh, like crazy situation and now you're seeing parts of them or uh, like now you're seeing a truth about somebody because they would um, put in an extreme situation. You ever hear that expression, Gemini's, of like you don't really know somebody until they, they've been, th until you've been through difficult times with them and you see how they handle difficulties. Um, or discomfort. Well, guess what? Now you're seeing how somebody handles discomfort and you don't really, you don't like it. You don't even like that this person is anywhere near your home. It's, it's really, it's really bothering you and making you feel uncomfortable in your own house because of the way that they're behaving, this side of them that is just not okay with you, or even just maybe the side of society that's not okay with you. Like everybody lost their damn minds and then know your worth, the energy of four plus um, five plus four, nine. Yeah. It's, it's coming to a close. It's, it's like, um, um, something is coming out. See, that's the grounding energy is you're starting to see what a stinker somebody is. First, they were all dressed up in this beautiful flower. And now you're starting to see what a piece of, you know what they are. Like they're just a doo-doo. They're a skunk that was hiding out. And to be honest with you, a part of you is like fighting, you know, I'm supposed to love them for exactly what they are, or, you know, I'm supposed to accept the situation for what it, I don't want to accept the situation for it. I don't like it. I wouldn't choose to be around a skunk if I knew it was a skunk. It told me it was something else. Gemini, hold on. I'm going to flip the camera. Yeah. So this is your one grounding energy and it's just done. It's, 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 it's something's coming to a head. Something's coming out. Something is being exposed for exactly what it is and it's a big stinker or putting up a big stink and making a big stink over something that is not that big of a deal and hello, they're a freaking adult. They should be able to handle it. But at the same time, everybody's freaking out and won't just shut up and listen to any kind of sense. And this part of you that, yes, is absolutely fascinated by this phenomenon and wants to sit back as almost like an observer and, and watch this craziness play out. But it's simultaneously, it's, it's too close to home. It's happening, to, it's happening too close to home to actually be able to be objective. And you just I honestly, honestly just want to get away, get away, like do away with it. Because everything is so up, sir, upturned and upside down and nobody's listening to reason. Everybody's just diving into a, a pile of poo-poo without knowing what's going on. Having these like weird mixed, it's almost like this mixed up ambiguous understanding of what the right thing to do is. Or twisting a sense of what, a morality and what's, what's the right thing to do because they're so twisted by their fear they justify anything. And just really feeling really caught up and stuck and completely and totally. There's something completely out of balance here. It's like your own private hell. You've lost all love for this circumstance or situation. You're just, you're, you've lost all love for it. Let's continue this reading. Let's see where we're headed. We're going to do a full articulated tarot card reading and some love and romance as well, which was picking up for you, Gemini. So I will see you on the other side.